for joining me this week. Before we get started, I have a very important question to ask you. And the question is, do you like Halloween? Because I do. Now, I'm not sure if you realize this, but Halloween is less than two weeks away. And my family, we love the costumes, we love the decorations, and we really like the candy. So I can't help it if this week some Halloween creeps into the video. I can't control my enthusiasm anymore. But first we're going to cover the important things, and we're going to start with the Bible lesson. So stay tuned. So today's reading comes from our World Story Bible, and it's called Middle of a Riddle, and it comes from the Gospel of Matthew. The Pharisees loved the religious rules. They studied Jewish law and wanted to be important leaders. They were always looking for people who broke the rules, but the crowd wasn't paying attention to them. Everyone is listening to Jesus instead of us, they grumbled. How can we show the crowd they shouldn't listen to Jesus? They decided to create a trap. Asking Jesus a tricky question would get him in trouble. Say, Jesus, the Pharisees started. The emperor says we should give our money to him. Other people say that's not what God wants. Who is right, the emperor or God? Now, if Jesus said the emperor, then people would think he wasn't following God. If Jesus said God, he would go to jail for disobeying the emperor. Jesus picked up a shiny coin. Look, he said, this has a picture on it. Who is it? He held up the coin. The emperor, the Pharisees answered. That was an easy question. Then the emperor can have this coin, Jesus replied. Trapped. Jesus loved the emperor more than God. But wait, Jesus added. This is more important. Whose image is on you? The Pharisees were stumped. If people are made in God's image, then everyone belongs to God. So I'm going to show you this video. And the video really drives home the lesson for this week, what we should take away. And the other good thing about this video is it's Halloween themed, which I love. Halloween. Oh! I'm going to eat so much candy. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, Jax. Do you want a bob for... <laughs> wow. You won, Jax. You won forever. Everybody is winners! <gasps> There's an awful lot of treating going on, but not very much tricking. Fortunately, tricking is my specialty. <laughs> you there. <laughs> Don't you think you're being a little bit selfish with all that candy? What? What are you talking about? Don't you think that you should give some of that candy to God? God wants my Halloween candy? Of course. Pastor Pete said so in today's sermon. Give, therefore, to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. The things are Halloween candy? Yes. 37% of your pillowcase is the recommended offering to relieve any feelings of guilt. Take it! Take it all! Ah! Monty! You need my candy, too? Yes. No, God. God needs your candy. But why not give twice as much? Boy, God drives a hard bargain. 
I'm sorry. It's... it's all that I have. Winks? Don't insult Jesus with your winks. Take the girl away! No, wait! I can find more! I'll go door to door! I'll do anything! Uh, Victor? Leonardo, my good man! Where's your offering? What offering? Your candy offering? You know, give to God the things that are God's and all that? That's not what that verse means. Uh, hmm. Of course it does. Don't listen to this false prophet. Jesus is saying give the money to the emperor because that's what the emperor wants, and give to God what God wants. And what God wants is sweet, delicious twizzle bars. No, it's us. God wants us to follow and love God with all of our hearts. It's not an offering if you feel like you have to give it. Anything you offer to God should come from the heart. Don't give your candy to Victor. He's tricking you. N not treating us? No. <laughs> this could hurt. Ah! Yep. It did. So there's one key statement that was made in this video, and it sums up what this Bible lesson means for us this week, what we should take away. And I don't know if you caught it, but here it is. Jesus is saying, give the money to the emperor because that's what the emperor wants, and give to God what God wants. And what God wants is sweet, delicious twizzle bars. No, it's us. God wants us to follow and love God with all of our hearts. It's not an offering if you feel like you have to give it. So what we should take away this week is God wants us to follow him and love him with all our hearts. That's our mission this week, and that's our mission every week. Thank you for joining me this week. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.